Occupy Wall Street protesters clogged streets and tied up traffic around the U.S. on Thursday, November 17th to mark two months since the movement's birth and signal they aren't ready to quit. The Oklahoman's Michael Kimball and photojournalist Paul Halston report members of Occupy OKC marched to City Hall from Kerr Park on Thursday afternoon, specifically to protest corporate influence on MAPS 3. Thursday's march was slightly delayed as protesters signed release forms for their photos to be used in a Bank First quarterly report. Those who signed the form were paid $20. The protesters are upset about what they are calling an undue corporate influence on MAPS 3, which is the latest in a series of public improvement projects in Oklahoma City. It was paid for by penny sales tax. In the news release, Occupy singled out Mayor Nick Cornett, saying his ties with businesses were too cozy and represented a conflict of interest. Occupy contends MAPS 3 benefits corporations too much, specifically Chesapeake Energy, Devon Energy, and Cornette's former employer, advertising agency Ackerman McQueen. The protesters say the money would be better spent on raises for police, firefighters, and other city workers and teachers. Pay raises approved this year for police, fire, and other city employees began showing up in paychecks last month. Police officers received a 3.5% raise, and firefighters got a 2% raise. Teachers are not paid with city tax dollars. The mayor responded to the criticism by saying the will of Oklahoma City voters was clear when they passed the MAPS 3 tax and that he has no qualms about the city's relationship with local businesses. More coverage can be found in the Oklahoman and online at newsok.com.